Good afternoon, Chairman Gallego, Ranking Member Cook, and distinguished members of the subcommittee. It is an honor to have been invited to testify before you today. It is my great honor also to recognize Committee Chairman Raul Grijalva, in whose district our tribal nation is located. I am Ned Norris, Jr., and I am the chairman of the Thonautam Nation, a federally recognized tribe with more than 34,000 tribal citizens. We have lived in what is now Arizona and northern Mexico since time immemorial. With no consideration for our sovereign rights or the welfare of our people, the international boundary was drawn through our ancestral territory in 1854, re <clears throat> separating our people and our people and our lands. As a result, our reservation shares a 62-mile border with Mexico, the longest <clears throat> the, longest, the, the longest along the southern border uh, of any tribe in the United States. Seventeen autumn communities with approximately 2,000 tribal citizens are still located in our historical homelands in Mexico. Autumn on both sides of the border share the same language, culture, religion, and history. Our citizens cross to participate in pilgrimages and ceremonies at important religious and cultural sites on both sides of the border to visit family and friends, and to pay respects to loved ones buried in cemeteries on either side. Today, only a portion of our ancestral territory is encompassed within the boundaries of our current reservation. Originally, our homelands ranked well beyond these boundaries, ranged well beyond these boundaries, and included what is now Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument, Cabeza Prieta National Wildlife Refuge, and San Bernardino National Wildlife Refuge. The nation has significant and well-documented connection to these lands and the religious, cultural, and natural resources located there, including at Quito Vaquito Springs and at Monument Hill. The National Park Service, the federal agency with management authority at the Oregon Pipe National Monument, has acknowledged that Quito Vaquito Springs is sacred to the nation. Nevertheless, CBP contractors working on the border wall recently bulldozed a large area near Quito Poquito Springs, destroying burial grounds. Another culturally important site is Monument Hill, which is the final resting place for many of our ancestors who recovered bones fragments from these, from these show. <clears throat> Earlier this month, CBP contractors conducted blasting there, notifying the nation of his plans only the day the blasting occurred. And I am sorry to report that just two hours ago, CBP conducted another controlled detonation at Monument Hill. The federal government's continued destruction of our religious and cultural resources and nothing less but bulldozing of our church grounds and our cemeteries. For us, this is no different from DHS building a 30-foot wall along Arlington Cemetery or to the grounds of the National Cathedral. This destructive actions would not have occurred without the waiver provision in Section 102C of the Illegal Immigration Reform and Immigrant Responsibility Act. That allows DHS to waive any law it wishes in order to expedite border barrier construction. We urge Congress to withdraw or at least limit DHS waiver authority that is dangerously broad and has allowed DHS nearly dictatorial authority to run roughshod over the rights of the Thon Autumn and other border communities in the United States. There is no accept acceptable reason why border communities should not be protected by the same laws and have the same, have the same ability to challenge agency action as Americans living in every other part of the United States. Making matters worse for us is the lack of an enforceable tribal consultation requirement. While agencies pay lip service to consultation, tribal governments have little ability to enforce consultation policies when federal agencies choose to ignore them. A statutory consultation requirement would help put an end to the frequent disregard for our concerns, our expertise, and our right to self-determination. The federal government owes our government and the governments of local border communities more respect. We, thank, <clears throat> we wish to thank Chairman Grijalva and Sub Subcommittee Chairman Gallego for their efforts to resolve this continuing problem through their introduction in the last Congress of the requirements, expectations, and standard procedures for executive consultation with Tribes Act, and for recently holding a hearing on similar draft legislation. 
Preservation of history and culture of Altham is not just important to the Don Altham Nation, it is important to the preservation of the history and culture of the United States. As we preserve Civil War battlefields and cemeteries and honor holy places of worship everywhere in the United States, we also must preserve and protect such places of significance to the Altham and First Americans in this part of our country. The nation thanks you for shining a light on an ongoing destruction of our cultural resources and sacred sites. I am happy to answer any questions.